Hello everyone. In my previous videos, I have discussed about various types of interpolation formulas. Now in this video and in my upcoming 2-3 videos, I will discuss about some methods to solve numerical integrals. Now, numerical integration. Some There are some methods or rather some definite methods to solve numerical integrations. But I will not discuss those. I will discuss some different techniques or rather some techniques of solving numerical integrations which you have not learnt so far. Now, to solve a numerical integral, there is a general formula known as the quadrature formula. Now, this quadrature formula looks like let the integral be i equals to x0 to xn that is the limits fx dx. Now, this integral can be approximately calculated by using the formula approximately equal to h into n y0 plus n square by 2 del y0 plus 2 n cube minus 3 n square by 12 del square y0 plus n to the power 4 minus 4 n cube plus 4 n square by 24 del cube y0 and so on. Now, the values of n can be 1, 2, 3 and so on depending on our requirements. And the value of h is nothing but h equals to xn minus x0 divided by h. Now, the values of n, the various values of n gives us various formulas or rules for solving numerical integrals. Now, in this formula, if we put n equals to 1, what we get? i is equal to x0 to x1, putting n equals to 1, fx dx, that is approximately equal to h into y0 plus half del y0 which is equal to h into y0 plus half breaking the del y0 term into y1 minus y0. Now this is equal to half h or h by 2 into y0 plus y1. Now, this formula, this i approximately equal to h by 2 into y0 plus y1. This formula is known as trapezoidal rule for two points x0 x1 this formula is known as the trapezoidal rule for two points x0 and x1 now in similar ways if we continue to write we will reach to a point 
where this i will look like x n minus 1 to x n f x dx which is equal to half or h by 2 h by 2 y n minus 1 plus y n now adding all these terms we get x0 2xn fx dx is approximately equal to h by 2 y0 plus yn plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus up to y n minus 1. Now, this formula, this formula is known as the composite trapezoidal rule. Now, all the derivations that I have described here, you need not to remember the whole derivations. You only remember this composite trapezoidal rule formula. This formula will help you to solve problems using the trapezoidal rule. Now, let us take an example to make the concept more clear. The question is compute dx by 1 plus x square from 0 to 1 using trapezoidal rule take n equals to 6. Now to solve the problem using trapezoidal rule we need to follow three steps. The first step. First step is to calculate the value of h. Now if we remember I told you just a while ago that the value of h is equal to xn minus x0 divided by h. Here xn is 1 and x0 is 0. So 1 minus 0 and sorry this will be n and the value of n is 6. So our h is 1 by 6. This was the first step. Now second step. Second step is we need to construct a table. Since we have to get the values of y1, y2, y0, yn and so on, we need to construct a table to get our values of y for the corresponding values of x. So we will construct a table y. Now before that, what is our y? y is nothing but the fx. The fx here is 1 by 1 plus x square. So, what we have to do? We have to put the values of x in this y and get the various values of fx. Now, the first term under the column x will be x0 that is 0. The second term will be x0 plus h that is 1 by 6. Third term will be x1 plus h that is 1 by 3 and similarly the next terms will be 1 by 2 then it will be 2 by 3 then it will be 5 by 6 and the last term will be 1. Now while constructing the table you should always keep in mind that the first term under the column x must be x0 and the last term must be xn. So the first term is 0 that is x0 and the last term is 1 that is xn. Now the corresponding values of y for x equals to 0 the value of y is 1 
for x equals to 1 by 6 the value of y is 0.973 for x equals to 1 by 3 the value of y is 0.9 similarly for 1 by 2 the value of y is 0.8 for 2 by 3 the value of y is 0.6923 approximately for 5 by 6 it's 0.5902 approximately and for 1 it's 0.5 exactly now our next step the third and the final step is to calculate the value of i using the trapezoidal rule so i is approximately a equals to h by 2 into y0 plus yn plus 2 into y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 up to y5 now y i have written y5 because y0 and y6 now in between there are five turns y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 so this will be y6 and the y n minus 1 term the y n minus 1 term here will be replaced by y5 so it is equal to 1 by 2 into 6 since a value of h is 1 by 6 and y0 is 1 plus 0.5 plus 2 into rest of the terms 0.973 plus 0.9 plus 0.8 plus 0.6923 plus 0.5902 now this is equal to 0 0.7842 now in some in case of some integrals you can easily compute them without using any of the numerical integration methods or the quadrature methods like in the case of this example the normal integration of this types 1 plus x square can be written as tan inverse x now the limits are 0 to 1 so we will write as 0 to 1 this is equal to pi by 4 now the pi by value of pi by 4 approximately we can calculate using the calculator which comes out to be 0.7842 so in this way for some integrals we can check our values our answers using the normal methods and so basically we can see that the integrations that we can't solve using the normal or our so called basic methods we can solve them easily using the quadrature methods one of those is the trapezoidal rule so that's all for trapezoidal rule i will be back with some more quadrature methods in my upcoming videos till then thank you